All right, let's get real for a minute. So I've been thinking a lot about insecurities and what they are. I, I don't think it's just a woman thing. I know at least Sean has opened up to me about insecurities that he has, but um, specifically for women, what what the heck and why do we have to have insecurities? Why why is it so hard? We know, like we see ourselves in certain times and we feel this powerful powerful connection to God and we know that we are made the way we're supposed to be and these truths that that are are buried deep inside of us. We know this. And then one thing happens and it's like all of that knowledge goes out the window. And Okay, I'm laying on the floor because I was stretching and I just thought of all of these things and I, I thought instead of feeling sorry for myself alone, I kind of wanted to share it. Um, so, so why? Why do we have to have insecurities? Why can't we remember those truths in those moments? So I've been, I've been battling this a lot and then um, I went through a thing I put on Instagram and Facebook about Clea and I could see it in her. I could see what she needed in that moment. She needed to replace that lie and, and fill it with the truth. And, and it kind of changed the outcome of how she felt about herself. But it's so much harder to see in ourself. It's so much harder to acknowledge that, that, that thing that's going around your head. It's not true. And it, it's how I hate, I hate that we have to feel these things. I hate that we have to wonder if we're enough. I hate that, I hate it. I just hate that we have to not be able to sometimes see ourselves the way that God sees us, the way that we see our children in those perfect moments. Um, so the kids and I have been working a lot this week on finding our truth. And I feel like I'm almost being tested more inside my mind on what my truths are. Um... So I don't know. There's nothing to this. I just, I wanted to share. Sometimes my family eats cereal for dinner. Sometimes they go to school and their hair's not all the way done. Or they picked out their clothes and they look so bad. Sometimes they fight all morning long and we barely even have time to kiss goodbye before they head out. And I, I always think, why can't I just have it all together? I see all these amazing women, women on Facebook. I see, I see people at church. I see people everywhere that seem like they have it all together. And I always feel like I'm the only one that just seems to be failing at something every day. Like when Titus is picking up the dog and the dog snaps at him and I panic in my mind that he's going to get hurt and bit by the dog and I scream and yell at him. Not because so much that he did that, but it just caused a lot of fear in me. And I, I know that everybody struggles like this, but today my truth that I'm overcoming or my lie that I'm going to replace with the truth is that I'm the only one that doesn't have it all together. I'm the only one that feeds my kids cereal every once in a while for dinner because I just didn't have time to make dinner. I'm the only one who has a pile of laundry all the time. Even after I put it all away, it just seems to multiply through the night. But I have a feeling that that's the lie of today for me. I'm not the only one who feels worthless and pointless and like a little epic failure most days as a mother with something. So I, I, I really do really good in one area, but then I look back over the day and I failed in something. And hopefully, as I'm replacing my, my, uh, my lie that I'm alone and I'm worthless today, um, anyone else who's felt that way, raise your hand. All right, good, then we're not alone. We are going to fail at something every day. We are going to let somebody down. And I guess my end goal in life and in this moment right now is that I at least do the things that are important and I don't let down the people who matter most. 
And I don't think that pile of laundry is making my kids feel like I fail. They look through it and they find what they need. It's clean. And I don't think that cereal should be my reason why I think I'm a failure. I honestly think that I'm doing my best and I'm trying every day to find a reason to fight those lies. I'm trying to find a reason to help my children to find strength in their own truth. So we're not alone. Our kids, our kids don't even, don't even have a clean slate every day. They also feel like they're failing. And so does your spouse, even though maybe they're blaming you for all their failures. Deep down, we all think we're failing something. So today, just be grateful for all that you do. See it, embrace it, and laugh at the laundry as you walk past. And don't picture all the pictures that everybody's posting on Facebook of their amazing immaculate dinners as you pour that bowl of cereal. Be grateful that you have those, those kids to feed. And just enjoy, enjoy the truths that you really are without, without suffocating in all of the lies. And tomorrow, they're going to come again. There'll be a new, a new flavor of the day of what you think you're failing at. Um, but it's time to just brush them aside and be, be the mother, be the husband, be the, be the co-worker that you're supposed to be. Imperfect and all.